I'm building the strongest possible team in all of Madden 24, starting with our tight end number one. I would love for it to be Travis Kelsey, but I just know that's not going to be the case. One more click of a button, and we get George Kittle! What an incredible start this is! But we also get to add Taysom Hill and Mercedes Lewis. Taysom's looking rough. It's so funny, because they are literally the only three players on our team right now. So you've noticed we chose the Cowboys, and have started with a completely blank squad, but once we finish building the team, we're going to sim the season to see if the strongest possible squad in Madden 24 can make the playoffs. Also, as an experiment, with the Cowboys being one of Madden's most overpowered teams, I want to see if this team can win a Lombardi trophy, even if the team's overall ends up terrible. Honestly, a fantastic start with our tight end position, which does bring our overall up to 53 with a 99 offense. Now, I do wonder who's going to end up being the strongest quarterback in the league, who's going to be the strongest running back, who's going to be the strongest receiver, Receiver. But we do need to begin building this defense, and I think I'm gonna start with the cornerback number one. I honest to God have zero idea who's about to be the strongest cornerback in the league. Just please don't be a stinker. Don't be a stinker. Tredavious White, which is massive. I mean, 75 strength isn't too shabby for a cornerback. Welcome to the Cowboys. Now, who's our cornerback number two? It's gonna be Marlon Humphrey, which is another lockdown corner. With 74 strength, we might end up with the best secondary in all of football. So we do have our corner one and corner two, but we do need to finish the position with some depth. So we get to add Steven Nelson with 74 strength, Rasul Douglas with 73. Now we do have a tie between Desmond King and Marshawn Lattimore for our quarterback number five. And the tiebreaker here is going to be their toughness rating, which is going to go to... Oh God, Desmond King wins it. I mean, come on. This has got to be the deepest quarterback room in the entire NFL. I mean, with these additions, the team's overall goes up to 97 with a 95 defense. I mean, that's eventually going to come down, but at least that's a good start. Which I think next, we're going to go ahead and round out the secondary by adding the strongest safeties in the league. But after that, I do think we're going to come back to offense. Starting with the strong safety position. I'm not going to lie, man. We kind of are due for a stinker here. Just please don't be too bad. At least be like an 80 rated. We're going to get Jamal Adams. What are you talking about? out. 78 strength for a safety is crazy. Officially the newest Dallas Cowboy. I mean at this rate our team might go 17 and 0. Now who here is going to be the backup to Jamal Adams and oh no we have a tie. Imagine Derwin James as a backup dude. And by far the tie goes to Derwin James. Just don't know if he's going to be happy being the backup though. I mean that brought the defensive overall up to 96. Hopefully free safety doesn't screw us. I do have to say Hey man, I think we are due. We are due for an absolute stinker. And what did I tell you, bro? Who even is this? Miles Killebrew is going to be our starter. And as the backup, unfortunately, we miss out on Kevin Byard and have to add Justin Evans with the 75 streak. Now, Justin Evans is at least 60 years old. This video is just like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. I don't even want to know how much this is going to bring down our teams overall. I mean, only brought the over overall down to 95 the defense down to a 92 i am very curious what this overall is going to end up being by the time we complete our team i mean at least everything else on defense looks good so far but now time to go back to the offense and i think i actually want to add our fullback I still am so curious at who is the strongest quarterback in the nfl come on now there's got to be a fullback out there that has like 99 strength there's just got to and the strongest fullback in madden 24 is patrick Ryan card with 88 strength and it's not even close and with that great strength comes with an incredible speed nice. rating oh i really hope that didn't ruin our 99 overall offense gosh dang it patrick he brought us down to a 93 with a 95 offense it was ruined but sticking to offense it's time to get dirty and add all of our offensive linemen why don't we start off the offensive line by adding our center i feel like we're gonna end up with a really good offensive line Come on now, don't let me down. Corey Lindsley, that's okay. Oh, there's actually
actually a three-way tie between Frank Ragno and Mitch Morse. We're gonna have to go to toughness as a tiebreaker, but I really hope it's one of these two. Oh, come on, man. Please don't screw me. Oh my god, it's gonna be Franklin by a long shot, which does mean Corey will be the backup, though. I mean, adding the third best center with 92 strength isn't too shabby. I mean, a great start to the offensive line. Now let's move to left guard. Hopefully left guard is just as good to me as center was, and oh my god, we have a tie, and I am scared to death. Quentin Nelson and Andrew Voorhees, both with 97 strength. What's that, a 25 overall difference? And this is, again, the tiebreaker gonna come down to their toughness rating, and oh my god, barely, just barely. Don't mind adding the best left guard of the entire league. And at least our backup is strong. One of these offensive line positions are gonna screw me. Hopefully it's not right guard. All right, bro, I'm just gonna send it. Please, Madden, be good to me. We get Will Hernandez with 94 strength. Like, I guess it could have been worse. Just definitely not as good as Quentin Nelson. Now the backup's gonna be either Wyatt Teller or Trey Smith. And they both have 90 toughness. What do I do here? We'll just go with the higher overall as the backup. I mean, a great start to the offensive line, but if our offensive tackles suck, nothing else matters. Starting with right tackle. Come on, man. Give me a superstar. We get the one Jones, 68 overall. And even our backup isn't even good. Darnell Wright, 74. Oh, no. Only 37 right tackles better than him. I mean, he is 6'8", almost 400 pounds, so I guess it makes sense at least. And I mean, Darnell Wright is like a super high-rated rookie, but he's gonna be the backup, though. Hopefully, left tackle ends up better than this. Come on, we need a good left tackle to protect our quarterback's blind side. I mean, I was assuming we don't get a left-handed quarterback like Tua. Like, who knows? I think I actually have a really good feeling about this one. And boys, we get Trent Williams, the best left tackle in the entire game. 98 overall, 98 stream. Trent here very well saves our offensive line. We get a good backup too with Orlando Brown and 94 strength. The offensive line is officially complete, which did bring our overall down to 92 and 93 offense now. Hopefully, who ends up being our quarterback, running back, and receivers will bring that back up, though. But for now, moving back to the defense, and I think it's time to settle our linebacker core. Pause for a second. Pause. I think we actually got bailed on the offensive line. I completely freaking forgot. We have Zach Martin here just sitting in free agency with his 97 speed who will be our starter. Thank God I remembered at the last second. Let me tell you something, boys. Talk about getting bailed. I mean, didn't affect the overall at all, but my god, dude, that looks much better. So now we can officially move on to the linebackers. Starting at left outside linebacker. Come on now, give me an absolute banger. Khalil Max, a solid start. He has 89 strength, and behind him, we'll have Frank Clark backing him up with his 88 strength. On the flip side, a right outside linebacker. Come on, let this be an absolute stud. Bradley Chubb isn't shabby. And behind him, we'll have Trayvon Walker. And we just missed out on having Joseph of Bosa. But Trayvon Walker's a stud too. I mean, our outside linebackers could be better, but it's no reason to complain. Defense did dip a little bit though, down to 91. I'm just curious if we can keep this team overall over a 90. Maybe we will go 17-0. and Who's gonna be our middle linebacker? I really hope middle linebacker isn't the one that screws it for us. Juwan Bentley, that's not bad. We get Demario Davis with 85 strength as our backup. That's a good core. 86 strength as the 11th best middle linebacker in the league. Like, I'm not mad at this. And we get a superstar X-Factor as our backup. I mean, I think this is easily a playoff caliber linebacking core. Now, I can't imagine what studs we're gonna get to round out the defense on the defensive line. But first, I wanna find the strongest kicker and punter in the league. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't let me sort by a strength rating here, which is kind of a disappointment. Found a workaround here, though, on Madden's website, so we'll sort here by the strongest kicker and it's Joey Sly 72 overall at least with that strength that gave him 98 kick 
power, which I'll take. And Punter has the same problem too. So having to use the Madden site again, the strongest punter in all of Madden 24 is Jamie Gillen with 69 strength. Our guy even has star development. I mean, that's just like having 99 strength. Now we got a couple strong boys on special teams. But now time to round out this defense. Before we find out where our wide receivers, running back, and quarterback are, we'll begin with the left end position. Come on, there's got to be some absolute insane strength ratings here along the defensive line. And Kenny Clark with 94 is the winner. 94 strength with some insane stats across the board. And we got Calias Campbell with his 93 strength to be the backup. Good experience to add. Now time for the right end position. I think there's only one man for the job, boys, and that is going to be none other than Aaron Donald. Of course, you had to have the strongest team in Madden have a guy with 99 strength, and behind him, we get Big Jeff Simmons to be the backup. Big Jeffrey Simmons with his 97th strength to be the backup is mental. Safe to say our DNs are insane, but what about on the interior? It's funny, though, because regardless of how good this team is right now, if we end up with a horrible quarterback, it's like none of this matters. So our defensive tackle number one is going to be Big Vita Vea. I mean, it's not 99 strength, but 98 will do. Now behind him at defensive tackle two, we get some guy named Dexter Lawrence. No big deal, just another superstar X Factor to be a backup. Now that defensive line is absolutely ridiculous. The D-line alone knocked the overall up to 93 across the board. But as mentioned, even with how good this defense is, if on offense we end up with horrible skill position players, we might not even make the playoffs. Let's begin by adding skill position players, starting with the running back position. I mean, I would like to think it's Derrick Henry, but I really don't know. And we do get to add Derrick Henry. Hold on a second. With Nick Chubb as the backup, that's crazy. And Samaj P. Ryan as the three. I mean, even if our quarterback ends up sucking, we could just run the ball a thousand times a season and still win the Super Bowl. Which those additions alone brought the team up to a 94 with a 96 offense. But I have a really strange feeling that these receivers are about to be mid. Because like, look at the top receivers in the league. They all have super low strength ratings. Our wide receiver one, please just don't be an absolute stinker. Debo Samuel. I don't mind Debo with his 80 strength being our wide receiver one. How about wide receiver two? We get big DK Metcalf. I should have known. And on the other side of that picture, we got AJ Brown, who comes in as our wide receiver number three. This is an already all-time great wide receiver core, but we still have enough spots for three more, which only means we get to go out and add Mike Evans, DeAndre Hopkins, and Michael Thomas. Like, how on God's earth is this even fair? I don't care who this quarterback ends up being. I don't care if it's Nathan Peterman. He should still throw for 10,000 yards this year. But going into the quarterback position, we're still at a 94 overall with a 95 offense, 93 defense. There's just no way the quarterback is that bad to screw this team up, right? So we'll begin here by naming the backup, which no big deal, you know, it's just Jalen Hurts. And quarterback number one, officially for the strong Strongest possible team in all the Madden 24 is going to be Josh Allen. 80 strength for a quarterback is insane. Like, we might have just built the best team of all time. So here's your official strongest offense and your official strongest defense. Like, I don't know if any team can beat these guys. Like, we finish off as a 94 overall with a 96 offense and 93 defense. Now, for the moment of truth, I want everybody to pause in the comment section below and leave your predictions for how you think this team is going to finish this season. I say at least, and I mean at least 15 wins. Like if the team we just built doesn't win the Super Bowl this season, I'm telling you this game is completely broke. 16 and 1. What did I freaking tell you? And hilarious enough, our only loss came in week one against the Giants, where in real life the Cowboys won by 40. This team has got to win the Super Bowl. They've got to. Of course we had the best offense in the NFL and defensively I think that means we finished with the best it was actually close how the Bills almost had the best defense now that is the most insane thing I've ever seen in my entire life not gonna lie only you know 
49 touchdowns to zero interceptions? I mean, realistically, I still think Josh Allen would have thrown at least, you know, 15 with this team. That is wild, though. Wild. Just weird stats all around, you know. Derrick Henry with 1,000 yards rushing, but then you had Nick Chubb, Vulture, 21 touchdowns. Debo with an insane year. AJ Brown, you know, just with 18 receiving touchdowns. Look at how many times we got to the quarterback. I mean, this team's got to win the Super Bowl. If they don't, this game's dumb. If I send this thing to the Super Bowl and the Dallas Cowboys aren't in it, I think everybody who purchased this game deserves a refund. I can't believe I was actually nervous for a second. An absolute demolition in our first two games. There's no way after all this, the strongest possible team in all of Madden 24 loses in the Super Bowl. Should be a blowout. Should be a massive blowout. What happened? I'm in shock. In absolute shock. At this point, bro, I just don't have any words. I don't have any words when I play this game. Now, regardless of that absolute nonsense, hopefully you guys did enjoy. And if you did, you can click right here to watch me build the fastest team in the NFL. Now, what are the odds this team actually won the Super Bowl?